Okay, these slides are going to talk about um, different parts of a cell, the different organelles of a cell. I'm going to try to help give you a little bit of an understanding of some of those things. But before we begin talking about those parts, before we begin talking about the organelles that are in, there needs to be an overall understanding of the cell. Um, we need to understand that life can be in the form of unicellular or multicellular, and hopefully you guys understand that at this point, right? Unicellular being one organ, uh, one cell rather, and multicellular being made up of many cells. But what I want you to, to realize about this is that all of these cells are going to contain some set of organelles, and they're all going to contain um, certain similar parts, whether it's one cell or many cells, right? Whether it's unicellular or multicellular. So all these parts are going to be contained in those cells. And so when you think about like all the things that you need to be alive, remember that has to happen in every single cell. Not just, um, ju not just you as a totality, but you know, it's all going to happen um, in those specific cells. Um, you know, and also keep in mind that cells are going to have, depending on the cell, you're going to have more, or less, more organelles than some than others. For example, if you have cells that require a lot of energy, then those cells are going to end up containing like more mitochondria, for example. Um, so you're not going to have the same exact number in every cell, but they will all be in those cells, and we'll talk more about that a little bit later. Um, so like I said, you have to keep in mind that what, the processes that you have to live, really each cell has to undergo those processes independently. And then as they undergo those independently, it's... it's Basically, that totality of them working together that gives the large, uh, the large scope of what you utilize. So, for example, um, you know, you know that you have to drink water. You know that you have to eat food for energy. Um, you, know, you know, plants need energy. Plants have to have water. You know that you need oxygen. Well, you know, at, when you think about that, that you need that stuff to survive. That's because every cell in your body needs that to survive. Um, so the things that we think about taking place in our bodies actually have to take place in every single cell. Um, so take the in case of if the human body, for example, every cell must undergo cell division, right? Because you know that for the human species to continue, you have to have reproduction. Well, each cell has to also have reproduction. Every heart cell, every nerve cell, every, you know, all those cells, they, they need to reproduce and, and build more like cells. Um, they all have to use and produce energy, right? You know that, that you use energy. Um, and you have to have energy to stay alive, well, that energy has to also be in those cells for those individual cells to stay alive and keep you functioning. They all have to contain water, right? They have to remain hydrated. You know that you go out and run, you sweat, you get thirsty, and you go, man, I'm dehydrated, I need more water. Well, that's because you have to feed your cells that water. You have to hydrate all of those individual cells. You know that you release car carbon dioxide when you breathe out. Well, where does that carbon dioxide come from? Yes, you release a, a large quantity, so to speak, as you breathe out, but really, where does that large quantity come from? It is a waste product of a little bit of carbon dioxide from every single cell in your body. And then it all kind of gathers in your lungs and, and you breathe it out. You have to utilize oxygen. You know, you breathe in oxygen, okay? Well, where does that oxygen go? Well, it gets dispensed to every single cell in your body. Every cell requires a little bit of that oxygen when you take that big gulp of air. And you have to get rid of waste. Well, where does that waste come from? Okay, well, as as you you know, you, you metabolize food and so forth, and then you get rid of it. Well, again, really what's happening is every single cell in your body is, you know, processing energy. It's, and it's, it's um, having a, pro, uh, a, a you know, the product of waste, giving off waste. And so all that, you know, the waste that's in each of those cells, whether it's gas waste like carbon dioxide, whether it's uh, waste in the form of liquid, whether it's waste in the form of solid, a little bit is released from each cell, and then again, it all adds up and then collects and you release all of those all those waste products. So think of this. If you take a big gulp of oxygen when you breathe, the oxygen must be filtered to each and every cell in the body. So each cell gets a little bit. And again, this slide is going to go on to talk to you a little bit about what I just kind of mentioned, that each cell has to be hydrated, you know, and each cell needs a little bit of that water. You know, when you take in food, you eat a big old steak, you know, each cell is going to get a little bit of the nutrients from that entire steak that you brought in. It's going to get dispersed to each of them. 
Um, you know, the waste is going to build up in your body, and you know, each cell releases a little bit of waste product. If it's carbon dioxide, then it all filters into your lungs, and then you breathe it out. You know, if it's other types of, of waste, then, then that's what ends up happening. It breaks down, your body releases a little bit of it, and, and you get rid of it. Um, so, if all these things take place inside each cell, then there must be individual parts inside of those cells working to make all this happen. So, what that means is, we have to have these, these specialized structures inside a cell performing a specific function. And these specialized structures that perform this specific function, we call them organelles. And every cell in your body is going to have these organelles. And all those organelles have a certain job. Where, like I said, some of them are used for you know, processing energy. Some of them are used for releasing waste. Some of them, you know, are used for synthesizing proteins or lipids or carbohydrates or, or whatever else. But all of these cells have those functioning parts in them. The following slides are going to give you some background on various organelles or functioning parts of the cell. Because some of the things we're going to talk about that we're going to go over aren't just organelles, but they are functioning parts. They are important parts of that cell. Um, four of the components listed in this are not organelles, but are extremely important structures that you're going to need to know, like the cell membrane, the cytoplasm, the cell wall, and the chlorophyll. You really need to know those things. Um, I'm going to note them again that these are not organelles when we discuss them further. Um, one last thing to note is what, what I want you to do is um, we need to understand and know all of the items in these slides. But there are some that are must know. So in other words, they're all important. I'm gonna I'm gonna assess you on them all. But there are some that are must knows, and those must knows are in bold letters. And what that means when I say must knows, that means you're gonna see them on quizzes constantly all year long. You're also going to see them on your acuity tests, and there's a very high probability that you're gonna see them on math testing. So what that means is they're they're extremely important. The state deems them as important you need to, to learn as you get ready to move into high school. And it will also give you a strong base so when you do take biology um, or bio 2 or anatomy and physiology, you're going to have somewhat of a foundation in the fundamental. And those ones that you've seen in bold letters, they're going to come up in every science class that you pretty much take, um, at least any biological or life science. So you need to make sure that you really understand those.